In this example, we are going to calculate the number of seconds in two years. So here's what we have. Um, what we want to start off with, what we always start with, is the GWR. I like to use GWR as a method because it gives us a way to organize our problem so we know how to start, we know what we want, and we can figure out what ratios are needed to start and end the problem. The given in the problem is always going to be the number given to you. So when we read through the problem, the given is going to be two years. Make sure that you're not just writing two, but you're actually writing down two years. That unit is so important for you to know what step comes next. What we want is going to be like the question in the problem. Here it's asking us to calculate the number of seconds. So seconds is going to be what we want. Now we need to stop and think, what is the relationship between years and seconds? How can we connect those two things together? Well, you could use your handout that um, had all of the conversions on it, but you could just think this thoroughly and recognize that, okay, I know time conversions. I know how to get from years to seconds. I know that one year has 365.25 days. Now, if you had solved this using 365 days, I would be okay with that. But the reason why we put that 0.25 on there is to account for a typical year. Um, it's an average year over the four year span because of leap years. Remember how we have like a February 29th every four years. That's what it's accounting for. The next thing we want to do is since we're trying to get to seconds, we're trying to get to a smaller time frame. Think about how days are related to seconds. We know that one day has 24 hours or there are 24 hours in one day. doesn't matter if you have the ratios flip-flopped as long as you have a correct conversion. I know that also in one hour there are 60 minutes. We're getting closer to seconds as you can see and in one minute there are 60 seconds. Now one of the things I would recommend that you do is check your pathway of uh, ratios to make sure you can get from years to seconds. What I mean by that is you have a ratio that takes you from years to days, a ratio that takes you from days to hours, another ratio to take you from hours to minutes, and finally minutes to seconds. So we have everything we need to get from years to seconds. Now let's start the problem. We start the problem the exact same way every time with the given over one. So this unit in the given is going to be a super clue. This clue tells us if I have the word years here, I also need the word years here. So as I'm looking at all my ratios, I'm going to take this ratio uh, that says one year and put it in the bottom only because I want the words to match up diagonally. Now I'm going to take this number here, 365.25 days, and put it in the numerator. So here I have a conversion from years to days. I'm going to keep going. If I have the word days here, I need the word days down here. So I'm going to take this one day, I'm going to put it in the bottom, and 24 hours at the top. I have hours at the top, I need hours at the bottom because I always need my units to match up diagonally. And keep in mind, I've already used this ratio. If I wanted to, I could scratch it out. So let's go ahead and just scratch it out. Um, I've already used this ratio, so I'm going to scratch that out. And now I'm going to go ahead and continue on with making sure my hours cancel out. So hours and hours, I'm using this guy right here. 60 minutes and I've used that ratio up and finally if I have minutes here I need minutes here I'm gonna grab this number and the unit minutes and put it in the bottom and 60 seconds is the other side of the ratio so I've used that up now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and solve my problem I'm gonna go ahead and um, recognize that I have years and years days and days hours and hours, minutes and minutes, leaving me with seconds, which is great because that's what I want in my final answer. And so when I calculate the answer, I'm just going to type in my calculator 2 times 365.25 times 24 times 60 times 60. This gives me this very large number here, which I've converted to scientific notation here. I remember with scientific notation, you have a natural decimal place here, and you count how many times it would take to move your decimal here. 
and it would take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, and that's where this times seven comes in. And finally, there's my unit of seconds.